Hi, Davi here, and today we have a new episode in the art process series. And today we'll be doing a a voiceover of this uh, sketch I did last night. It's of a it's a portrait sketch. Um, I do recommend. I mean, people have done this, but it's my first time doing this. Where you know, just open up Pinterest, and hopefully, if you've saved enough or clicked enough uh, images. Uh, the algorithm is going to re uh, recommend you uh, images that you typically like. And I was so happy with that because now I have this. Because usually I try to choose my reference, right? Like I try to find random uh, references online. But I think that's such a hassle. Um, I think you can save time by using something like Pinterest. Because it's obviously like so focused on just images. So you have this like constant feed of images that cater to you so i do recommend you maybe you save a couple so the algorithm will know what you kind of like right so you can average out uh content that you would typically uh use or enjoy so this guy is actually the the actor for or the reference here is the actor for shogun uh, he was also in, in the the last samurai um he's also with, with the he did a movie with keanu reeves um, the assassin kind of film. I forgot the name. <laughs> John Wick. Oh yeah, John Wick. He's the Japanese guy. Um, but when you're when you're doing something like this, don't yes, study the reference, but don't try to uh, be so tight in that you want the thing you're illustrating to be exactly like the thing. Um, don't. I would uh, I would suggest avoiding one to one types of copies. Uh, because it, it, I think it takes away from um, from learning. Like, are you trying to learn how to be so accurate to the point where it's exactly like the photo? Or are you trying to study and take away, say, the shape design? You know, how the anatomy of the nose is. Like, how the shadows um, are shaped, you know, like under the eyes. You know, like, how, how are the folds illustrated when it's pinched in this way um, like you can study so many things and I think you do lose that side if you try to copy things one is to one um, I did have trouble with the beard uh, maybe I should have just used one shape for it but you know I did just do it sort of stroke by stroke but I was happy with this uh, sketch it took about uh, 10 minutes I think roughly um, and in, in this one, I was only using my left hand. I started out this session, uh, this full session with the, with my left hand. But eventually in the following sketches, I believe, I started to use more. I started with, I still started each sketch with my left hand, but eventually gave up uh, in the second, uh, in the two sketches, in, in the two following sketches, because my left hand was just tired. And obviously it's so frustrating when it's just not, it's not as accurate as my right hand. Um, and if you're using a non-dominant hand, you do have to draw a bit big. Now here, I'm actually drawing in my 22E Pro. So it's a big uh, tablet, big screen, lots of workspace. So I guess it was easier for me to do a little bit of the details here, just because the drawing itself was actually big on screen. Uh, the moment I have to do details in a sort of within a coin, if you think of a coin, if I have to draw details in that sort of a limited circle, I can do it way better with my right hand than my left hand so that's just something to consider if you're you know maybe you're injured or maybe you're just trying to experiment with your non-dominant hand and when you're doing this sort of like uh, in my case i'm using lasso fill it's been one of my favorite tools uh, in clip studio paint i mean there are other programs that have this tool but it's sort of my go-to now uh in clip studio paint and uh, just think of blobs just go back and forth like should should this be white should this be black and don't be afraid to overdo uh your previous strokes because that's where um it's sort of a this whole thing is more of a push and pull of white and black and i think if you have that mentality where you're not trying to get it right in the beginning you're going to enjoy this pro process way more and it's it, it's fun using using the, using the uh the lasso field tool because you're kind of drawing and painting at the same time and um, so yeah, that's it for this uh, quick sketch. Uh, it took about 10 minutes and I did enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy it too and uh, keep sketching. I'll see you in the, the next video. Bye.